All right, everybody. How are you all doing? It's early in the morning, a little bit after 5 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, June 27th, I believe, 2023. I'm an early bird this morning. What about you? Are you an early bird? Time for a little commercial break, although I'm not exactly into commercial stuff, commercialism. What do you think of this? Hmm? Everybody could use this a little now and then. Try it in gum. Cinnamon flavored. Can't beat this, can you? Well, enough of that. About some real advertisements. Like about Show Over the Kingdom. You ever seen this before? Enjoy life forever. It's just a brochure. It's the first part of a book. By the time you get to the end of it, if you really like it, you can get the book version of this, Enjoy Life Forever. You read it all the way till the end. There's some videos in here with an interactive discourse and a certain website. Here, I'll show you the back of it. Go ahead. And what about this? Remember back in the 70s when I was growing up in the 80s, when I was a little kid, they had a book called My Book of Bible Stories. There's very colorful pictures in here. And uh, let me see here. What could I show you? All kinds of nice pictures in here. And um, I don't like a rainbow. Though in today's age, that means something. Certain kind of fried, but that's not what that meant back about 3,000 years ago. In Bible times. No, well, that's not what that meant at all. So I'd like to share with you a scripture. You're probably wondering what at Andrew Westberg 1126 means. 1126 is for Acts chapter 11. Verse 26. So I'm going to read to you out of the King James Authorized Version what uh, Acts 11 26 says. And that's in page 980 here. It says, And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people, and the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Okay, so that's the spot in the Bible, in Acts 11, 26, in the King James Authorized Version, where you can find the word Christian or Christian. Now let's see what this rendering has to say. It's a 2013 revision of the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. I believe I have it bookmarked here. Yep. Page 1478, and let's see here, Acts 11, verse 26. After he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year they assembled him with them in the congregation and taught quite a crowd. And it was first in Antioch that the disciples were, by divine providence, called Christians. Go ahead. Just in case you wanted to know. Well, I believe I left out a couple or a few verses of scriptures from the last video that I posted about the resurrection. There's another set of resurrection scriptures that I forgot about, especially with the resurrection of Dorcas. So that would be Acts chapter 9, verses 36 through 43, in the same book of the Bible, Acts chapter 20 verses 7 through 12. All right. Okay. Well, as always, I'm a fan of Daniel 244, which is the theme of the Bible. It's either directly or indirectly related to Daniel 244, centered around that. So I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to talk about how 
she's a teacher that heals. I'm only going to mention certain Bible citations, not scriptural quotations, but scriptural citations. Okay, and I'll slow down a little bit for you to write them down if you want to. Jesus teaches and heals. Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 through 16. Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 9. And verses 11 through 16. Mark chapter 1. Verses 39 through 45, and chapter 5, verses 25 through 30. Luke chapter 5, verses 12 through 16, and chapter 13, verses 10 through 13. Matthew chapter 9, verses 1 through 8, 1 through 8, and verses 18 through 22. 22. Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. 1 through 12. And then Luke chapter 5, verses 17 through 26 and 31. 17 through 26 and 31. John chapter 5, verses 1 through 47. 1 through 47. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Same book of the Bible. Chapter 11, verse 5. Same book of the Bible. Chapter 12, verses 22 through 28. Same book of the Bible. Chapter 14, verse 14. Same book of the Bible. Chapter 21, verse 14. Mark chapter 3, verse 19 through 30. Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 through 34. Right, I'll just stop right there and give a moment of silence, pause. Just let you write that down if you want to. Not that I don't care, I do care. I don't care about everything, but I do care. Alrighty then. So Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 through 34 is where we left off. Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. 21 through 28. Mark chapter 7, verses 24 through chapter 8, verse 9. Mark chapter 7, verses 24 through chapter 8, verse 9. Matthew chapter 17, verses 14 through 20. Mark chapter 9, verses 14 through 29. Luke chapter 9, verses 37 through 43. Luke chapter 11, verses 14 through 36. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 through 24. And you'll notice that along reading those passages in the Bible, in your own version of the Bible, several of them repeat themselves. So they say things in slightly different perspective from different Bible writings. You'll notice that. Okay. So, what else can we talk about? I know. How about, out of King James Authorized Version, I read to you, Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, here we go. By the way, I can make as many quotations from the New World Translation of the Holy Scripture that they legally want to. However, there's certain restrictions on the King James Authorized Version. I don't know if that still applies. This is a different day and age now. So, from what I understand, Jehovah's Witnesses bought the rights and permission from the church to own and possess and reprint the King James Authorized Version. 
Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, page 789. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Uh, how about if we hear the rendering of the New World Translation of the Holy Scripture, 2013 version? I'm trying to bore you up a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Okay. Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. That's on page 1209. It says, In the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed. And this kingdom will not be passed on to any other people. It will crush and put an end to all these kingdoms, and it alone will stand forever. Just like Jesus said in John 18:36, my kingdom is not of this source, they're not from this source. Right? So, maybe next time I'll do a reading from Daniel chapter 10, not both versions, King James Authorized Version. And the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures about uh, Daniel being strengthened after three weeks or 21 days of being weakened. Battle going on in the spirit realm between the prince of the royal realm of Persia and the prince of the realm of Persia and the angel Gabriel, probably. We'll have to read and find out. So, taking a little bit of a risk here. Uh, Let's see if I can find this. Do you have a love in your life? Special someone? Find someone? Glad I got so many subscribers now, especially the one who's loving my life. How to love two women, according to Brooks and Don, and oh, the Oak Ridge Boys, that's who it was. Yeah, the Oak Ridge Boys. All right, then. So, okay, let's see if I can find this. I just wanted to show you what a special someone looks like. I don't mean to give away too much information, but uh, how about this one? Hi. She thought. Wait and stare at a minute. She can scrutinize from time to time and worry from time to time, but our lives are so precious, you know. Let's see if I can find another one. Uh, keep it cleaned up. I know she's got a bad midriff. What if you ask her and she doesn't verify it that I'm with her? Well, Good to keep things discreet, you know. Not trying to be a predator or anything or be aggressive or creepy, you know. Like, what do you call it? Radiohead? Creep? Yeah, whatever. But, uh, hmm. so, sitting in the car, she really wanted to reward me. Love you, man. Now, if I could just get my head screwed on straight, find a wife in the religion I'm from. Yeah, I know you think it's funny, but not really. Well, anyway. So, how did you like that autonomous sensory meridian response for right now? If you're a woman, you probably liked it better. If you're a guy, you might be a little bit irritated. But anyway, I don't mean to offend anyone. I just thought I'd give a free education there. If you want to make a donation, you can. And I found out probably won't be a week from Saturday that I'll be accepting donations. Whenever I get a thousand subscribers per the requirement of YouTube is when I can start accepting 
donation. So, if you want to hurry up and subscribe to me, whoever you are, to my channel, YouTube channel, Andrew Westbrook, 1126, that would be appreciated. Once again, I'm a soldier of Christ, not into commercialism, not trying to draw attention to myself, rather to God's message. So, hope you enjoy some things. I've been experimenting a little bit, seeing what people like, what they don't like, so I know what to do and what not to do. A little bit better idea of what people are looking for. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you later. Bye, everyone.